Hi, YouTube world. This is Miss Sue Kizzy coming at you again um, with my second video in reference to a couple things the Oyen Handmade products that I mentioned before, as well as the finger comber unit. I'm extremely, extremely excited. It just came in the mail today. Um, I almost just want to skip the Oyen Handmade critique just to get to the finger comber unit because. I was pressed. But anywho, um, Oyen Handmade was uh, a natural line of hair products that I mentioned last week or the last video. Um, and I ordered a snack pack so that I could try different things to see how I like them. It came promptly with very professional correspondence. I was in love with that. That's huge for me as customer service. So um, this is how it came came in a cute little box with pink tissue paper and inside they had like some little candies and bubbles. It was really cute. Um, very nice touches. So kudos to you all. I'm highly impressed. Um, but inside the snack pack was Hairdo, which is a daily qu hair quenching lotion. Also Honey Hemp Conditioner, self-explanatory as well as Greg Juice, which is a leave-in, or I'm sorry, a uh, leave-in conditioner, um, revitalizer, if you will, for your hair. And there's also the Burnt Sugar Mini, um, which is a natural pomade, petroleum-free, which I really love, and that's what it looks like. And lastly, but not least, the Shine and Define Styling Serum for Soft Hold, Gray Shine, and Gentle Definition. And that's what that looks like. I have been extremely pleased with everything that came in my snack pack. I got it a week ago. Um, I've used it maybe every three days um, when I retwist my hair. It's a little crazy right now because I just ripped my hat off in anticipation of trying on the finger comber. Um, but some highlighted items, the Greg Juice, I've been very impressed with um, because I didn't think that water-based products would actually work well with my hair in the winter. I assumed that the water would make it dry once it, you know, once the water dries in the product. This has actually um, contradicted that quite nicely. Um, it's a oil-free, nourishing, herbal leave-in hair tonic, softens loose hair to ease detangling, and a quick spritz help spritz helps refresh thirsty locks I have not yet tried the honey hemp conditioner but I'm very excited to I'm definitely going to wash my hair this weekend can't wait um the hairdo I use this about three six days in um and I really liked how this worked as well it gave a lot of um, moisture to dry ends the burnt sugar mini i love this oh my god it smells so <laughs> it smells so good matter of fact just for that mm. and the nice thing about it is the fragrance holds in your hair i went the entire day at work and i kept smelling it and i totally forgot that i had even put it in my hair and i'm like what is that and that lasted about two days that it smelled like that so that was awesome um but this is very nice for sealing i'm not sure if you're familiar with what's called a coat and seal this is great for sealing. Um, as well as the Shine and Define, I use that after, maybe about two days after using this, um, just to add a bit more moisture because this is a pomade, so it's very solid. Anyway, on to the main event. <laughs> Enough about that, right? The moment that I at least have been waiting for, I got my handy Let It Opener. So, this is the package. And let's see here. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. It did take a while. I know um, I had to do a bit of research to find out how to get this puppy quickly. I ordered it last Tuesday morning and I actually meant to order it over the weekend, but um, having some issues with PayPal because I didn't realize I had an old account. But yeah, um, I'm going to try not to look like I'm struggling. <laughs> it's not really that hard. Anyway, so uh, apparently with the finger comber unit, 
and specifically, ladies, I mean unit, as in the piece, the hair, the wig, not actual finger comber hair that you might use for, um, say, Havana twist or something of that nature. I was told it takes up to five days, five to seven days for them to process that kind of order because the wigs are made when you place the order. Deli care of your unit is quite simple. Spritz unit with water from a spray bottle and use your fingers to comb through. Da 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 da. Everything I heard on another video, so I'm going to skip that. Do it yourself. Okay, so it shows you different styles. Um, I did notice this one online like a couple days after I researched it. Um, called the wash and go. That one looks really cool too for people who like big, big hair. Your receipt and the main event. Nice little bow. <laughs> the fact that it's in such a small box is kind of funny. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> You know, and I saw a couple videos to brace myself, but I thought it was just the flash on their camera. This is, wow. <laughs> this is very impressive. This is, uh... okay, sorry. <laughs> this is um, the finger comber unit, as you can see. And it's definitely, definitely, in the texture of natural hair, I'm, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's the best $78 I've spent and I haven't even put it on yet. Um, okay, so I sh wish I had been more prepared and done some twists in the front so that I could see the difference between how it looks with hair in and hair out. Um, one of the really cool features is it has adjustable bands, which is awesome because I hate those comb clips. You know, it, it does a number on you. Um, so this is really awesome, especially for people who might have a larger head. And then it also does have a specific cutout so it brings more down here for your sideburns. People, they really put a lot of thought and consideration into this unit. So I'm just putting this on over my twist, so. This isn't even how it looks when it's like laid down on flat hair and wow, I'm impressed. I'm impressed at the texture of it. It doesn't feel dry. I mean, clearly it doesn't feel like I just twisted it with shea butter, but I'm sure you could manipulate that with just a little bit of a uh, spritz. I'm probably going to try the Greg juice on it um, since... That's what I've been consistently using. Either that or something with a little bit more oil. But let me scoot over out of the way of that so you can see. So this is what it looks like. I probably look crazy because I didn't line it up perfectly. But yeah, I'm really just so excited. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, and now looking at the front, I probably would leave some out. So if you can imagine, it'd be back here. This is really awesome. I'm so happy I bought it. And it's like so much less expensive than most wigs I have purchased. And it's a much better value. This is definitely going to be my protective style for the winter. I originally wanted to do the Havana twist, which is how I even stumbled across this unit. Oh, we're just going to leave that on. <laughs> how I stumbled across this and I'm so happy that I did because this is amazing I mean just look how easy it is to let the hair lay from one side to the other amen hello I'm sorry I just <laughs> I'm a letter writer they will be getting a letter because I'm thoroughly pleased and I saw you know they have some do-it-yourself videos on the website as well at fingercomer.com um, where you can see different ways to do the twist out going up, leaving some hair out, yada yada. Um, I'm not a pro, so don't 
take any of my words for it, check them out. Um, it's www.thingercomer. <laughs> I don't have a comb with me. Dot com. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching. I am definitely about to go to town on this and play around with it a bit. And I'll post another video once I actually take the twist out tomorrow. All right.